One of the wonderful parts of what we do is that we get the pleasure of introducing you to some pretty remarkable people. And, and tonight, Jennifer Reyna introduces us to a man named Willard Wiggin, mm -hmm. whose humble beginnings are just as incredible as his miniature artwork. This is the Statue of Liberty perched inside the eye of a needle. And this is a longhorn whose horns are made from a fiber of Willard's sock. It's art you can't really see with the naked eye. So tiny. Oh my God. Oh my God. I didn't believe it at all. <laughs> but then when I saw it in there, it was amazing. These students at the Audi International School are almost speechless, and so was I. Wow, these figures are so small, you can only see them through this microscope. And if you choose to buy one of Willard's pieces, this comes with it. You'll need this standing microscope to show off the piece that most likely cost tens of thousands of dollars. But life wasn't always so grand. Willard grew up in London. He struggled in school with dyslexia and was made to feel like an outcast, constantly ridiculed by others. Growing up it was quite miserable because I had to prove myself and with, with another skill. The teachers would uh, make me feel like nothing, so I had to show them how big nothing could become. Well, he's come a long way. Willard is now known for creating the smallest sculptures on earth. If it's a grain of sand, I'll hold it down and I'll move between my heartbeat. And sometimes I'll allow my pulse to become a jackhammer. Too much pressure would be detrimental to the work. It's this attention to detail and the uplifting words from his mother, he says, that was needed. My mother's words are honored. She told me the smaller my work, the bigger my name. And fortunately, it has actually happened. Well, Willard plans to go even smaller with his work, if you can imagine that, and plans on moving from Birmingham, England to the Lone Star State within the next few months. Jennifer Reyna, KPRC Local 2. Wow. If you'd like to see Willard's remarkable artwork mm -hmm. in person, two pieces remain at the Gramillion and Company Fine Art Gallery, and we're told they'll be there indefinitely. Isn't that great? I mm -hmm. guess art is in the uh, microscope of the beholder yeah, in this yes. case. You know, Willard estimates he's created about 200 pieces since he started at age five. Welcome to Texas. Mm -hmm.